hello friends you are watching today's solution in this video I'm going to explain you how you can utilize a lotus shark software for your ANSYS or for analysis of the suspension as you know there are different softwares are available by the lotus for the different components of the vehicle for transmission for steering for gear analysis for engine analysis and for suspension which I'm going to use here is a Lotus Shark which is used for the suspension analysis. This is a workbench of the Lotus Shark where we have to do the work. This is the toolbars which you can select and I'm going to ex one by one each of the com each of the tools. Here is a toolbar or the where we have to select the component. This video will take lot much time so I have divided it into a different volumes you can follow them according to your requirement first in this video in this volume 1 I am going to explain you the basic components the basic selection of the tools uh, and the functions of those tools so first you have to start your procedure from the file new you don't have to change any thing in this upper section you just have to change in the front suspension as well as rear suspension steering type will remain same there should not be change so in front suspension there will be different options are available in front of you from this you can select any one of them uh, here I am selecting double wishbone damper to lower wishbone and for rear suspension I am selecting type 6 is nothing but the double wishbone damper to upper wishbone here is a view edit parameters data this you can change or edit this parameters according to your requirement here is a bump travel, bump travel, rebound travel a roll angle, roll increment, wheelbase, CG um, breaking point driver point that you can change according to your requirement that I will show you in next volume here's a view edit tire data you can also edit the tire parameters by rolling radius tire width vertical stiffness parameters you can change it also and please note it is for the front tire and it is for the rear tire this front tire will change both tire of the front portion and this rear tire will change the both tire of the rear section make it as a default only don't change in this okay now click a done now you get this image in front of you according to your selection of the suspensions uh, one by one I will going to show you how these tools can be used here is a movement tool which can make you to move your body to anywhere according to your requirement here is a zoom in zoom out tool which make you to zoom and zoom out the body for changing the parameters this is a rotation tool by which you can rotate the body to any axis to any coordinate okay so this is a portion is a front portion and this is a rear portion uh, here is a spring by clicking on spring you can add the spring in your body and here is a damper by clicking on damper you can add the pink color damper in your body if you don't want this suspension or spring you just can delete it that I will show you next volume how can you do that 
now here is the tool which can change your wheel parameters that i have shown you earlier only uh, here is other here are the pivot enhancement uh, this is nothing but the this portion means as you can see here was the any one one pipe before but is not there still so by clicking it you can again recall those pipes these are the pivots this is just for showpiece it's no any use now you have this three points or three tools which will help you to make understand all components deeply uh, is a display front end only means it will eliminate the rear portion of your suspension and by clicking on the display rear end only that will remove your front section of your suspension and by clicking on display both ends you will get to see both ends of the suspension here is a tool which display both side by clicking on this you can remove one side of your suspension and by again clicking on this you can recall them again now these are the three coordinates by which you can make your parameters easily understood understandable uh here is a stead value y to z by clicking on this you can make the view from the front by clicking on z x axis you can view it from the side view and by clicking on y x axis you can make view from the top okay so i'm just removing this rear end portion yes okay so it will make you understand otherwise you will get confused so here this part is a lower suspension lower wishbone suspension here is a upper wishbone this is again the same upper wishbone lower wishbone damper this is spring damper spring tire this line this line which you can see here is nothing but the just a minute this line yes this line is nothing but the connecting rod or you can say it a uh, knuckle joint by because it is connected to the steering arm that's why it is called as knuckle joint uh this is a steering joint or steering knuckle uh this steering point will going to connect to the steering wheel you can also change this positions of your steering of your suspension of your damper springs as well as your uh wish bones by changing the parameters that i will show you next volume don't take tension for that uh here is a point which you can see is a toggle point value visibility tool by clicking on it you can visible your points means just a minute yes by clicking on this points nodal points uh toggle point value visibility you can make a visible on what the points this point are available these joints are available means from x y and z direction how the points are distance from the from the bottom line from this vertical line and from the x z axis how it is far from that point that is can be shown from this toggle points now by this toggle point limit setting you can remove this limits uh here was the red point which which i can show you again please have a look yes by clicking on this you can limit your settings means after you limit your point then it will not be moved from this 
so by this tool by this talking point limit tool you can make change in your parameters by shifting this point to any position any coordinate and if you limit this point then it will not going to move so it's so simple now here is a point short label visibility tool which will make you understand at what point you have make a change means this is indicated by the 11 8 4 5 6 14 13 by this you can understand which point you have changed as you can see here it is given 5 point it is 8 it is 11 means it gives number to every component of the suspension okay uh, if you want to make your body move then there is also one tool by that you can move your body and understand your working position that I will show you so let me remove this all the parameters yeah. so we can also make your body to move by this parameter this is an animate mechanism tool by clicking on this you can make your body move up and down this will work according to your these tools 3b 3r and 3s 3b is nothing but the bumping mode 3r is nothing but the rolling mode and 3s is nothing but the stair mode means how your body will react in these three modes that is shown by the these tools if you make a change to 3d steering module then by clicking on it you can have your animation mechanism tool start now you can see how your body is work how your tire will work when the body is steering or when the steering mechanism work then how your tire will move that can be shown from here from this tool we can also have a look by rotation it by rotating it see how it's moving is it nice yep now you will see the rolling mode how it will work now as you can see it is just rolling how your body and how your tire will roll during moment that you can analyze from this tool have a look okay here's again tool is a bumping tool in this if you have an obstacle in front of you then how the body will react how will bump how will rebulb that you can analyze from this tool so I will stop it here now so I hope you would like this video and it will be benefit to you uh, if you follow these volumes then you get to understand how you can change the parameters now in second video I will going to explain you how you can change the parameters how you can move the position of your suspension as well as your wishbones steering arms that we we'll see in next video so thank you for watching and please subscribe our videos and make a like thank you